advertising hasn't evolved in fashion in a long time. It has to shift. It has to. My answer to that is creating crazy, weird, colorful images. Do you remember those? The only thing that we have now as a currency in advertising is how does a consumer walk away and remember that image? I don't really differentiate between art and fashion in my work. Fashion doesn't really have any rules. It's like going to a salad bar and having unlimited options. Fashion is a catalyst to do whatever you want. I can tell you what I intended, but that's not really the point. The point is for the viewer to take what they can. There are a lot of shoots that I think are successful that other people look at as epic fails. And that's fine. That fear is what drives you to make fresh images. The minute you're comfortable is when I think your end begins. I spent years really stressing myself out about my career. I would be like, what's wrong with me? Why am I not shooting for the New York Times? If I don't make it work by the time I'm 25, I'm never going to be anybody. Had I just buckled out of fear, my work wouldn't have developed in the way that it did, and I wouldn't be sitting here. Every time I create something new, there's always the fear that you're not going to be able to do that again. Can I do that tomorrow? Maybe I can. Have I topped out? The process itself to me is more painterly than photographic. It's more the time span that I spend thinking about it, adding layers, reworking the color. You're starting with ideas rather than starting with a product. It becomes about creating a world and the clothing is secondary. I create an image purely for the sake of creating something beautiful. Sometimes I don't even show the product. The product sells itself. I've been doing these short Super 8 films. It's almost like a sketchbook. Little moments that I'm trying to capture. The way that I use Super 8 film is an extension of how I would frame a photograph. The photograph itself starts taking life and evolving into this thing that isn't quite a film, but it's not quite a photograph. Some space in between the two. I'm always weary of accolades. They're great to get, and I'm very, very honored and very, very thankful. But unless I keep making great work, it's irrelevant.